Introducing Lampy, an affordable and reliable instrument that is ready to go out of the box. You will be provided with a Lampy instrument, a filter block already installed, a power adapter, a USB cable, a flash drive with the install software and the user manual. You can also choose to purchase 0.1 milliliter low profile tube strips and caps to get started right away. LAMP, or Loop Mediated Isothermal Amplification, uses a fixed temperature to amplify a target DNA sequence. Four to six primers are designed to complement specific areas of interest in the target sequence. Primers act like keys that only bind to the desired sequence and therefore will only amplify the target. The loop primers help accelerate the amplification by binding to the loop structures produced by the FIP and BIP primers. For amplification and detection to occur, several components are combined with the primers and template in the solution, one of which is the strand displacing polymerase enzyme that unzips the DNA and builds the complementary strand using free base pairs using the primer. Once the first strand is built, the forward outer primer, F3, will bind upstream and the enzyme will build a new strand from there, unzipping the first strand in the process. The backward inner primer can then bind to the B2C segment on the strand and the new strand will be built from there. Similarly, the B3 or backward outer primer will bind upstream and repeat the process of unzipping and building until the strand is free. The free strand will then form a loop structure by binding to itself, providing additional binding areas for the loop primers to accelerate amplification. This process is repeated until the reaction uses up all available free base pairs. During the reaction, millions to billions of copies of the target DNA sequence is produced. One method of detection is by measuring the fluorescence from an, an intercalating dye that only fluoresces when bound to double-stranded DNA. This means that as more copies are made, the more the solution will fluoresce when excited. There are several advantages to LAMP when compared to PCR. The polymerase for LAMP works at a constant temperature, which means amplification can occur without thermal cycling, whereas PCR requires temperature cycling. This makes LAMP generally faster. Typically, LAMP takes less than 40 minutes to complete, whereas PCR is usually longer than 40 minutes, sometimes at least 90 minutes. The simplicity of LAMP makes for an affordable and compact technology that is more robust and tolerant of inhibitors and impurities. Finally, LAMP typically uses four to six primers, whereas PCR only uses two. To get started, plug in the included power adapter into the back of the instrument and plug the other end into an electrical outlet. Next, plug the USB cable into the back of the instrument and plug the other end into the computer. The instrument is ready to go and no calibration is needed. On the instrument's property tabs, you can see whether or not an instrument has been detected and connected the instrument information, and choose which instrument to connect to if multiple instruments are linked to a single computer. On the Assay Setup tab, you can input information about the Assay, save it, or load and save the Assay. It is optional to input this information, but highly recommended for reproducibility. On the Protocol Setup tab, you can input information about the protocol and change settings to suit the experiment. Default settings are Isothermal Amplification, Lock temperature set to 65 degrees Celsius, lid temperature set to 70 degrees Celsius, and for an amplification duration of 40 minutes. Melt is by default disabled, but can be enabled if melt analysis is desired. Enabling melt will add time depending on the settings. For optical settings, the optical power level will be automatically applied by default. This makes getting the best signal-to-noise ratio easy. Acquisition duration is set to 10 milliseconds every 10 seconds. Protocol settings can be saved and loaded for faster setup. On the Experiment tab, information about the experiment can be input but is not required. Experimental setups can be saved and saved setups can be loaded. On the bottom left of the screen is the well map which can be used to edit each well's information. On the right hand side, you will see the well information and the input fields. Wells can be enabled or disabled, and individual assays can be applied to each well if needed. 
Once setup is complete, you can select the Run Details tab. Here, you can check that the input information is correct at the bottom and right hand sides of the screen. The temperature of the block and lid, the status of the instrument, the elapsed time, and the time remaining is displayed at the top. You can also add additional time to the experiment, start and stop the run, and export data using the designated buttons. We will prepare an 8-strip with a lamp solution using a serial dilution of synthetic SARS-CoV-2 RNA in duplicate. Tubes 1 and 2 will contain 1 million copies. Tubes 3 and 4 will contain 100,000 copies. Tubes 5 and 6 will contain 10,000 copies. And tubes 7 and 8 will be no template controls. When the samples are prepared, cap the strip and place the tubes into the instrument. Now that the samples are prepared and placed into the instrument, the run can start by clicking start. Measurements will take place every 10 seconds. The export data button can be used at any time to save a data set. An automatic backup can be found in the autosave folder. During amplification, the linear curve will be displayed. You can also choose to view the log curve. After amplification, and if melt was enabled, the temperature profile will be displayed during the denaturing step. When melt begins, the melt peak will be displayed, or you can select the melt curve manually. Once the run is complete, the instrument status will show complete, and the reset button will be need to be selected to reset before a new run can start. It is best to export the data at this time. The file can be saved as a JSON, CSV, XML, and PNG file. Lampy, making molecular biology more accessible.